Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the monthly reading, general reading for the sign of Aries for November 2019. This will be for Aries sun, moon rising, as well as Venus signs. So as you know, sometimes other aspects of your natal charts readings can resonate even more than your sun sign. So please do go check those out as well. Because obviously this won't resonate for everybody. This is a general reading. But we're going to tune into the energies of what's going on for Aries in the month of November. And uh, for those of you brand new to my channel, welcome. Please do go check out the playlists I've put together for you in um, here on this channel. Because I've done hundreds of videos. So um, if you take a look through those, then you may find something that um, catches your eye or simply just, you know, scroll through the videos I've created here, not necessarily just the ones on the playlist. So um, with that, let's just get started of what's happening here for Aries, November 2019. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Prince of Cups, and we have the Star. So certainly, um, some of you could, th this is a card of communication, typically, the Eight of Wands. And when I'm getting the Eight of Wands along with the Prince of Cups, this is potentially that you, there's something that you want to open up about emotionally in your life. Certainly, this could be with a love relationship, an intimate partnership, a friendship, um, but it also could be any relationship anything that you are ready to move forward with that is emotionally fulfilling because with the star card here this is all beautiful energy it's also the energy of wish fulfillment it can be an energy of destiny and also a card of healing there's really nothing negative that can be said about the energy of the star card when it shows up in a reading so for some of you you could be traveling um, or communicating from a distance and um, but it could be that you're starting to communicate or wanting to communicate to somebody how you feel. And ultimately, this communication will be very positive. The outcome will be very positive from the standpoint of it's um, the opportunity to, to possibly heal a situation. If that's been, um, maybe if that's been something that's been needing to be healed. And for others of you, it's just simply something that is destined, something that is meant for you. So I'm going to pull six more cards here and just get more into what is happening. These are the main energies, but I'm going to keep going here and pull six more. Okay. All right, so with the Eight of Wands, we're getting the Four of Swords and the Prince of Swords. So clearly there has been, there's a desire to move something forward, to take some action, to communicate. There may have been a bit of a pause, um, a pulling back of energies, a reflection time here with this Four of Swords. Uh, but it's almost like someone's ready to communicate some truth here whether it's you or the other person, if you're talking about a relationship, but there's something here that you're ready to move forward with swiftly, quickly, because there's a lot of energy coming through here with the Eight of Wands as well as the Prince of Swords. This is like, you know, running right out of the gates very quickly after a period possibly of being a little bit removed from a situation. And also, guys, as you know, probably goes without saying, but I am going to mention it. If you're watching this specific to love or how this is applying to a love situation or any sort of relationship in general, friend, family, love, whatever it is, you can always switch the, um, for cross watchers, if this applies to you versus the Aries, totally fine. Always take the message as it resonates and do not ever make a reading fit. If it doesn't, it just means it's not for you. So with this forward movement here, there's, I'm feeling certainly that there's a lot of love. There's a lot of emotions coming through here with all of these cups energies. Because for the Prince of Cups, this is like the Knight of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Princess of Cups. 
So there's a lot of communi emotional communication here and maybe you might be on the fence wobbling. Should I do this? Should I not? Because there's a lot of water here in this card with this person in this two of pentacles and waters obviously represent emotions and it's surrounded by the prince and the princess of cups. So it's whatever's there could be something here where you're wanting to make an offer but you've got to open up your heart to communicate. So we're getting a lot of communication messages here with the Princess of Cups, the Eight of Wands, needing to communicate. So certainly whatever communication is, is coming through, it's about something that means something to you, something that's important. And here we are in the, in the coming future here in this position as I read the energies across the month from left to right. We get the star, the four of cups, and the nine of cups. So again, in the same column here in the future position is our two cards of wishes coming true, wish fulfillment. And in the middle here is the four of cups, which is something's been missing, this cup of emotion that's been missing. So um, Aries, it's either you or the other person if this is relating to love, but Aries, if you have been really trying to recuperate possibly after ending a relationship or having to really process some difficult emotions. You might be juggling a little bit on the fence and worried about all the emotions that you're feeling that you want to offer to somebody that you want to communicate to somebody. And at the end, because you know that this is necessary, this is your opportunity to do it. There's something here that's being presented with this with this one cup behind this guy who's not quite noticing it, but he's sensing it. He's like, I know this is my chance. I have three cups here and something's missing. I need this fourth cup that typically I'm going to offer with this Prince of Cups, bring it to somebody. So it does feel like, you know, you're ready to go forward and to communicate how you feel with somebody. You're a little bit nervous about it, juggling a little bit about it, but let's get um, some more cards here. Let's get another layer and just see. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Let's get another group of messages here. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. And there it is, the King of Cups. <laughs> like I said, lots of love. You have deep emotions for somebody, Aries, and this is something that is 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 mature love. This is not puppy love. This isn't infatuation. This isn't lust. This is deep love. And this is what you're ready to communicate. You might be ready to reach out to somebody that you have a lot of deep love for. It might be scary for you to communicate because the King of Cups doesn't always talk about it. He just feels it and he knows it and he's mature emotionally and he's ready for that kind of grown up love, if you will. So definitely the communication coming in here. I mean, how many cups cards do we have? One, two, three, four, five cards out of 10 are all cups, which represent love and emotions. So let's see what this four of swords is. Six of swords and seven of pentacles. Okay. So what's happening with this four of swords is that, um, This communication is something where you're waiting for the right time. It wasn't time before to make, to, to make, to communicate whatever you want to communicate. But at the end of the day, it's going to bring, make things better. You've come you had to go through something that was maybe some conflict, some change, something that indicated a difficult time of change, but a cha time of change that was necessary. And you needed to take a break while you were going through this, but it looks like it's now time to move forward. Tell me about this Prince of Swords. Whereas it wasn't the right time and it wasn't, and it's so interesting. I was just feeling the Ten of Swords energy because I kept noticing and being drawn to how the Six of Swords plus the Four of Swords equals the Ten of Swords, and here it is. So what you're going forward with is you're moving forward with truth. You're moving away from a situation that's been difficult. It could have been a situation where there has been some betrayal. Um, either you've been doing the betraying or someone else has betrayed you. But it's been a difficult situation nonetheless, and you're ready to move on from it, and you're ready to... 
either take responsibility or ownership for maybe how you have caught them, you know, been part of a difficult situation in the past, but it's like the past is the past here and you're moving forward with this sword of truth with this Prince of Swords. Tell me about the Prince of Cups. And here's the sun. Well, there you go, guys. This is an, when we're getting the sun and the star in the main energies in this top row, I'm not sure it could get any more positive. However, this is happening in your life. Whatever is going on for you through the month of November, there's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, positive, um, I don't want to say outcome because there's never like a finish line in my opinion, but talk about the beautiful energies shining on Aries this month. So the sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck, followed quickly by the most po another really positive one with the star with this offer of of love, something that you are offering to somebody or somebody's offering to you is bringing about this beautiful healing energy and it's time. So tell me about the two of pentacles. Yep. Queen of Wands, this is something that you've attracted. You've been a little intimidated by this person or this person's been a little intimidated by you, which is why you're kind of like, oh gosh, I know I need to communicate. I want to make this offer, but oh my God, right? And, <coughs> and the Princess of Cups gets the lovers. So this is about moving a relationship to the next level. And this is a significant soulmate relationship. This is sacred partnership. The lovers on the Princess of Cups in the middle of the, the row here. I mean, the sun the Prince, the Princess of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. So it's like whatever's happening with this either uncertainty or, you know, wobbling of energy, it's being far overrided by, overridden by all the good things around. And the Ten of Cups and the Star, I mean, guys, Aries, can I be an Aries this month, please? This is amazing. Beautiful. This is to ultimate emotional fulfillment here. Happy, happy family, ultimate happiness, and it's, you're ready to, uh, to move this forward. You're ready to shift the situation. You're ready to transform. You may be, you know, you may be moving forward here, wanting to move it forward, but you know, you may need a little bit of, um, patience as this transforms. So you may still be not fully jumping in, but you're on the periphery and with the princess of swords. So it's like, you know, cause that's the page of swords. So it's like, you know, that this is your happiness, you know, it's here. You're ready to take action. You may still be a little bit guarded Aries, but that's okay, because with all this love, you might be a little afraid of it really overflowing too much. But Prince and Princess of Wands, Prince, Princess of Cups, talk about, you know, those energies being here, the passion, as well as the love, that's the best combination. It's the best combination. So Aries, quite a month for you here. I hope this has been helpful. And do go check out the other signs that make up your chart. Until next time, I send you much love. Bye.